Let's talk more about this with our health correspondent, Nicola Hill, who's in London for us. Nicola, um, is it actually safe for us to travel now or, or is it too soon? Well, I think it depends on your own idea of risk, really, isn't it? I mean, we all want to travel. We've had enough of lockdown. We want to visit our family, our friends, go on holiday. And certainly the, the travel industry, the tourism industry is doing its best to try and ensure that it's as safe as it possibly can be, particularly airlines. They're telling us about these very sophisticated uh, filter systems that they've got on the planes, the deep cleaning that they're now doing. We don't know, though. Now, there was a study in 2018 from Emory University in Atlanta that actually looked at the spread of respiratory illnesses in planes, obviously not the coronavirus, COVID-19, but any respiratory illness. And it looked to see about movement around a plane. Um, and it found that basically you're, you're most at risk if anybody's infected, if it's a passenger in front of you, the row in front or the row behind. Um, and I think this is the type of thing that people are considering. So some airlines have introduced um, blockages of middle seats, so they're reducing the number of seats on the planes. Others have mandated that you have to wear a face mask. Some, like British Airways, which obviously is our national um, carrier here in the UK, is following our government's advice, which is recommending face masks but not making them compulsory. And of course, we are, you have got the airlines who've got their web pages up saying, look, this is the deep cleaning we're doing. We're making sure that we've got these air filters I just mentioned that apparently can, can block 99.7% of any particles in the air. And then similar trains, you were talking about the, the resumption of intercity trains. Now, here in the UK, they have been running with a much reduced service. Other countries, they've brought them back. But again, far fewer seats on the trains, much more cleaning. And again, this insistence on wearing a face mask the whole time. And of course, hotels. I mean, many of the big chains are sending emails out saying, look, it's safe, come to us. Um, and if you have any problems, you can have free cancellations. And they're talking about the cleaning that they're doing to ensure that bedrooms and bathrooms are going to be very clean in between um, customers. But is it safe? It's your own personal risk evaluation, really. It's a tricky one. Personally, I'm petrified of getting uh, on an international flight right now. So I'll be in Turkey for a very long time. But tell us, what practical advice do you have for people that aren't petrified like me? And what is the official advice for traveling, maybe from the WHO? Well, the WHO is actually saying that the introduction of temperature controls, which a lot of countries are doing um, at exit and entry points, doesn't really work because, of course, as we all know now, that you can be incubating the virus, so you're not showing any symptoms, you won't have a temperature. Um, or you might have been taking something like a paracetamol to keep your temperature down. So that really isn't that effective. And we have got different countries which are now bringing in um, self-isolation. So, for example, from next Monday here in the UK, if you come into, into here, you will be told that you have to self-isolate at an address you've provided for two weeks. And there will be spot checks to ensure that you are doing that. But say you want to do an internal flight or an internal train journey, what infectious disease specialists are advising is that even though there is this deep cleaning from the companies themselves, perhaps take your own sanitising wipes, wipe the area around, around you, wipe, if you're on a plane, wipe things like obviously the tray table in front, but also the TV remote controls and things like that. And if you're going to go and stay somewhere, it's probably better to go into a hotel or an Airbnb that has been professionally cleaned. Don't do couch surfing. Don't go and stay in hostels. And things that you would never have thought of, Maria, for example, when you go and check in, don't lean on the desk. Stand back, take your own pen and obviously contact payment as much as possible. Great advice. Thank you so much. Nicola Hill in London. Appreciate it.